This episode of VTV is brought to you by Josie Wankus, Sam Ogali, Tiki Brown, and Ronnie Simon. Good afternoon, HF, and welcome to VTV Show on this Tuesday, January 23rd. I'm Joy Woods. We're in the last week of January already, and today's show will hopefully catch you up on all the meetings and announcements that you need to know about. Once again, the members of the HF speech team are here to give you the news, so let's get things started with what meetings are taking place. Just a couple of things on the list. FCCLA Culinary is having a mandatory meeting today after school in 118 North. And auditions for HF Poetic Expressions Louder Than a Bomb Spoken Word team will be held Wednesday, January 24th at 315 in room A18. Please sign up on the bulletin board outside of the classroom. That's the only meeting taking place, but we do have a number of announcements, so let's send it over to my friends Zoe and Shola, who have all the news. I'm Shola. And I'm Zoe. And we have the announcements you need to know, so pay attention. Turnabout tickets are on sale in the campus store. The Red Carpet Affair on February 24th will cost you $30 a ticket at the campus store. The night includes dancing, music, a photo booth, and great variety of food and soft drinks. There's just one month left to enter Etta Club's Dear Planet Earth contest. Submit your original piece of writing or visual art by February 1st to submit to Etta at gmail.com. See Ms. Mustafa in A11 for more information. Seniors, you're reminded to check your name on the list outside the guidance office. This is how your name will appear on your diploma unless you submit a changed form. The deadline will be on will be for any changes will be February 15th. Registration for advanced placement test is now open and you can register for exams online at the website on the screen. Exams are $70 a piece and if you have any questions, see Mr. Easter in room G1. All students attending Chain Reaction should be at the North Gym, Upper Gym at 8 a.m. on Thursday, January 25th. Please be on time. You will have to go back to your class if you arrive after the program starts. If you still need to purchase a Friends of Rachel t-shirt, bring $5 to Ms. Fredrickson's class in E24. You'll be wearing your Friends of Rachel t-shirt to be a participant. Student shirts will not be provided on the day of the event. The 10th Annual National Poetry Out Loud Recitation Contest wants you to get involved. Ask your teacher or visit www.poetryoutloud.org. You can also see Ms. Stromer in A24 for more information. Congratulations to the Varsity Scholastic Bowl team for the first outstanding performance at Loyola Academy Ultima Tournament this past Saturday. The A team finished tied for first out of 28 teams in the standard division. This team was led by senior Declan Cowley, who was also named the all-tournament team. Seniors Ethan Bosch and Luca Strohmeyer, along with sophomore Janelle Roach, helped secure the championship. The B team finished tied for seventh out of 28 teams in the standard division. This team was led by junior Miles Walker, who was also named the all-tournament team. The all team. Senior Teddy Komarowski and junior Ken Nakamura helped the strong tournament finish that included beating a team from Province and Bennett. The team's next competes Wednesday, January 31st at SWSC regular season in Sandburg. Your HF speech team competed Saturday at one of the final tournaments of the Invitational season. In a team split, they attended the most difficult tournament of the year, known as the Tougher Than State Tournament, hosted by Downers Grove South. The HF speeches went up against 45 schools and earned an 18th place finish. The Bolingbrook squad went up against 37 schools, earning an 11th place finish. Joy Woods and Layla Malik finished first place for their dramatic duet acting. The final Invitational Tournament is on Saturday at Eisenhower. That wraps up the announcements for today, Tuesday, February 23rd. I'm Shola. And I'm Zoe. Now let's see what's happening in sports with Lauren Parker. Sports fans, I'm Lauren Parker here in the Sports Corner, and I have a few announcements for you, and we start with track. The boys' track and field season is underway. If you are not in a winter sport and want to compete for a championship team, you must come out before Wednesday, January 24th. Athletes in a winter sport can come out for the season team once their season is over. All athletes must be registered on 8 to 18 and have a valid physical. Please see Coach Phoebe in room G3 or in the field house after school if you have any questions or concerns. Girls softball open gym will be on Tuesdays and Thursdays, not on Mondays or Wednesdays anymore. The time will stay the same, 5.30 to 7 p.m. Soccer Open Gym, 
time has changed to 5.30 to 7.30 on Mondays and Wednesdays. There are volleyball open gyms on Tuesday and Thursday this week after school in the field house. All are welcome. If you want a sneak peek of the 2018 girls track and field team, come out Friday to the red and white meet and watch the girls compete at 4.30. The cost is $2 for students. On Saturday, the girls gymnastics team plays second at the Riverside Brookfield Bulling Bulldog Invitational with a season high score of 121.825. Violet Sagan plays fourth on the vault. Annie Fields plays fifth on beam. Amari Mitchell plays fifth on floor. Shelby Acreage plays fourth on floor. Nyla Cohen plays third on beam, fifth on bars, and third on all around. Both the JV and varsity teams have conference tomorrow night at Lincoln Way East. Good luck, ladies. Congratulations to the Special Olympics red and white team for qualifying for state. They won the Regional East State Qualifier in dramatic fashion, beating Rich Township High School District 20 to 16 in overtime. The Special Olympics team Vikings also had a strong showing, taking second place in their division. Congratulations on a great season and good luck at state. That's all I have for you in the Sports Corner. I'm Lauren Parker. Thanks, Lauren, Zoe, and Shola for those updates. Now, let's take a quick look at who is celebrating a birthday today. Today is your birthday. It's all about you. Today is your birthday. Go and act a fool. Today is your birthday. What you going to do? I want to celebrate all day. Me too. Today is your birthday. It's all about you. Today is your birthday. Go and act a fool. Today is your birthday. What you gonna do? I'm gonna celebrate all day. Me too. Today is my birthday. What you gonna get me? I'm headed to the club, baby. Come party with me. Let's make a toast. Everyone here at VTV wishes you guys a very happy birthday. We're always looking for cool things to cover on our show. You know, neat things that are taking place in and around the classroom here at HF. We found one last week when Miss Watkins' class conducted its own science fair. Our cameras were on the scene. Today we had a biology presentation where we all did our own type of projects like based on science and I didn't go today but I viewed and witnessed a lot of other projects and it's really interesting to get to see how everyone does different projects and how like they have their certain specific takes on it and how they conclude their research. I do it because I like my students to conduct their own independent research project and conducting science fair is just a way for them to show their creativity and show what they have done and also explore some of their interests. It really challenges the mind, so to speak, like of like like a real big choice like you gotta challenge your mind and like just in general of like how to do stuff that you might need to do later in sight life like it's a nice little interesting thing to do looks like a fun project if your class is doing something interesting make sure you're letting us know so we can get you on VTV just send us an email at VTV at HF 233.org so, if you're a football fan, you're probably getting excited about the Super Bowl. Personally, I just watch for the new commercials, but anyways. It's the New England Patriots going up against the Philadelphia Eagles. Should be a great matchup, and one that we'll be watching closely, because we're conducting our annual VTV Super Bowl contest. If your fifth period class would like to join and have a chance at winning a nice treat, all you have to do is have your teacher follow the link that was sent in an email this morning from VTV. Your class will need to answer a couple of questions on how you predict the Super Bowl will end. We're asking two simple questions. Who will win and how many total points will be scored in the game? If your class picks the winning team and is the closest guest on the scoring, you'll win. So talk about it in your class. Have your teacher fill out the form and once the Super Bowl is played, we'll announce our winner. Speaking of winners, we'd like to say congrats to our Twitter follower JG, better known as Jalea Gordon. She was the first to correctly answer this question. What is something you can hold without using your hands or your arms? She knew the answer was your breath and picked up a VTV prize package. Jalea, you can pick that up in VTV anytime. Okay, that's going to do it for the show today. 
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here tomorrow for the VTV e show. I'm Joy Woods.